good evening everyone how are you doing so today actually is just going to be very amazing in this class we're just going to be taking you through the cryptocurrency classes and this is going to be very amazing class and because i will just be leaving this video to this on youtube right over here okay so uh because we'll just be leaving this one so we are going to start right away to start learning what is cryptocurrency how you can actually learn cryptocurrency you know the first thing i always the only thing that i always make sure that you understand is that you understand how simple these things are you know there are maybe a lot of video maybe you are trying to watch right over there maybe they are complicated and all that so in my video right over here i'm going to try to make things simpler the way you can just understand them in a very very simple way i'm going to simplify cryptocurrency it's just going to be very simple right over here very interesting uh if you have any question maybe on the run, long run maybe you can just be leaving it in the comment section uh, i've allowed that you can just be clicking on that so that we can just uh start learning and uh, we'll just be replying to you all your questions and uh, with that said i'll just be ending to somewhere where I'll actually i'll just be writing something over here but one of the things actually maybe you have seen people talking about when they are just talking about the cryptocurrency and all those things is that maybe you have seen something just like this what does this mean what does this mean so if you just look at this right over here this is just a chart where you can just see crypto different crypto you know cryptocurrency is actually different from the forex trading for those who maybe are trying to trend on the forex market there is different between all this and you're going actually to understand all those things in a very easy way and uh yeah so i don't want to because i have very limited time like that minute to explain everything to that minute to 40 minutes i'll just be explaining everything over here and i wanted to use that uh small time to make you really understand about these things so you can see we, we have maybe heard something about the bitcoin you have heard things about all these these are the things that you're just going to be talking right over here and without further ado i'm just going to be showing you actually where i'm going to be writing this um let me show you something over here so this is where actually i'll just be writing over here so I hope you can now see my screen um right here thank you for those who are joining make sure that actually you just like this video so at least for the people uh who have not joined so that it can just be recommended to the people who are actually are just uh, maybe going to join later yeah this is going to be interesting now uh make sure that you have at this somewhere if you maybe you're a beginner uh you can have somewhere where you are going to write this okay because actually i'm just going to leave you with maybe some assignment that we're just going to do right over there because there are a lot of things we can just be talking about right over here now when we talk about cryptocurrency when we talk about the crypto when we talk about the cryptocurrency let me just write over here when you talk about the crypto this is actually something that is different from all other things when you talk about crypto this is cryptocurrency okay cryptocurrency i'll try to make these things very simple for you actually to understand this it's just going to be very simple just relax right over there if you are writing maybe you can just write so when we talk about crypto we are talking about the it's same as forex trading is the same as other currencies but when we talk about the crypto we are talking about the virtual currency you know no? we are talking about the virtual currencies what does it mean virtual currencies you know like the way maybe we have kenya shillings we have dollar you can just go to the bank and withdraw that money but when we it comes to the cryptocurrency is actually different from that because it is virtual it's just a digital money you've seen something that when you have money on mpesa you know it's just like that those digits and they are actually measure of the value so when we talk about crypto it's just for example you can hear like now bitcoin is going at uh, around maybe 3.5 million okay 3.5 m but this bitcoin is actually not 
like the value of dollar you know dollar okay it's just the same as where you can say the dollar is going maybe at 130 kenya shillings but when it comes to bitcoin actually this is different because you cannot go anywhere maybe to the bank or anywhere and say i wanted to withdraw bitcoin because because bitcoin is actually a virtual currency what virtual currency means over here is that it can only uh it can it can only assist digitally okay it can only assist digitally and when we talk about the crypto let me just i'm just defining this so that we can understand you are going to understand everything right from the deposit to how you can just trend because actually i said i'm going to be showing you everything that you just need right over here now the word crypto actually come from the word cryptography yeah come from the word cryptography we have sent this a virtual currency and when we talk about cryptography we are talking about the those digital things being fixed being meant actually to be uh you know we talk about something i don't want to make this complicated but bitcoin is all about uh the transfers that are meant through the blockchain technologies and all that but i don't want to go there i just want to make simple things simple uh for you in the bitcoin uh, uh in the in the in the crypto area right over here it's just going to be very simple okay now when you talk about cryptocurrency right over here we have different types of crypto right over here that actually can just be trended maybe you have heard about the crypto coins you know there's different actually between crypto and there is uh other ones that we call actually uh these crypto coins you know and actually there are these tokens you know i'm talking about this because maybe we are going to be hearing about this as we proceed uh to this topic i wish you just proceed with this you are just going to be understanding this so when we talk about um when we talk about the crypto coins we are talking actually about these major things like bitcoin we are talking about all these uh major items in my ethereum and all that when we talk about tokens tokens are something like i'm going to show you at the end of it how actually this token can just be used actually even to transfer uh something like bitcoin you know bitcoin uh something generated out of that something that is maintained to be helping you actually to transfer the crypto currency right over here okay <clears throat> now when you want to trade crypto what are you are required to have so for example let's say you just want to trade uh, that is to trend uh cryptocurrency but even before we just go that yeah when we just want to trade cryptocurrency i'm just going to draw this okay so we have this flowchart right over here you actually need if you just want to concentrate more on cryptocurrency actually you just need a crypto exchange platform crypto exchange okay or maybe okay i'm just going to define this and difference between what you have had something about the wallet and all that so you just need this this is what you just need okay and understand this difference between this crypto uh, exchange platform and actually when it comes to the brokers that we have on the forex trading this actually will just be helping you actually to trend crypto only to just be helping you to trend cryptos okay for example we have examples of crypto you have had something like bitcoin that is written as btc you have had something like ethereum written as this this is ethereum you have earned something like litcoin lotc all these ones are a crypto okay and when we talk about brokers we have something like fx pesa you have heard about all that all those local brokers that you maybe know they are with uh, um, and many of them so this is why you can trend uh foreign currencies right over here in the broker but when today we are talking about the crypto exchange platform for those who maybe have checked one of the main videos that i just generated uh the one of them actually is just like um, binance binance is an exchange platform that you can just actually use to that is used to trend crypto right over there so that is one of them that you can just actually use to trend cryptocurrency okay so now with that just something uh, knowing at least some little things about the 
and that is about the crypto when we talk about the binance uh when we talk about crypto exchange over here we have different platform that actually you can use to buy this crypto and exchange them as you can see it's just a crypto exchange you know the way the coins that uh, the, the way the bitcoin uh the way these coins actually were just meant they were meant something uh similar to that of currencies you know like to store value they were meant actually to use transfers to store or uh, others to buy something to value of the something like just the same as the currencies just the same as the currencies so when we talk about the crypto exchange platform over here we have so many of them that you can just be talking about here like we have crypto.com you can just be using that you know we have crypto.com you can just be using binance to trend you can use pax for all these platforms actually that platform that are crypto exchange platform okay now those are the crypto exchange platform that you can just actually use right over there now after that then we are just going to have something that we call wallet okay we have something that we call wallets in the uh, crypto uh wound you know when we talk about actually about the wallet we are talking about where you can actually store your crypto after maybe you have bought those uh digit maybe you have bought your bitcoin and ethereum and all that then you actually need somewhere where you can actually store you can have somewhere like you know okay let's say this is the wallet you know this is the wallet you can actually come and open a wallet that is digitally you know there are different types of wallet i'm just going to show you that this is why you actually you can have a key you know it's just like a room okay and then this room actually will just be helping you to assess you can assess your crypto here with this key and then uh one of the uh, uh and disadvantage of this is that the moment actually you just forget about this key then you're just actually going to forget about all your cryptos that maybe you implanted or crypto that you place right over there so that is the one of the things that you actually you just have to know so you need the key to assess your crypto right over here so that is the thing that you just have to know about the wallet so uh on the wallet side right over here for example let's talk about the different wallets actually you can just be using over here for example we have this wallet that we call like we have mobile wallet we have this mobile wallet you know the way you just hear something about the wallet is just i can just be used like something like to store your crypto uh the wallet it's just like the wallet you have on the pocket that you can just use so all the uses you can just relate to them right over here this wallet so this is your wallet only that you can assess this wallet anywhere for example if you open a wallet for example let's say you open a trust wallet this is an application you can just download it maybe from somewhere it's just a wallet you send your crypto there you lock them but before opening when you are opening that wallet you reach somewhere utafika mahali and then you will just um, be provided with this key so this key is what will just be opening to assess this uh crypto that you actually stored right over here now anytime you just want to assess this crypto all you just need is what is key that means if, even if i just give you my phone you can actually assess your crypto because you have what you have the key it's just like an uh, online account you can just assess them anywhere as long you just have that key okay so maybe i i have a trust wallet and maybe you have a trust wallet. and okay these crypto things is very important because even if you go to uganda you can go to europe you can go anywhere you can actually assess your crypto as long you have what you have this key to open to this so that is what we call actually the mobile wallet we have also this web we have this web uh wallet over here okay so this web wallet we are talking about this is just the same as this uh crypto they are the same almost like this crypto exchange platform something like uh you know something like bit uh something like binance you know this as 
the third party but when it comes to wallet actually there's no third party because you are only one who can access them right over here but something about interesting about the wallet is they don't have you know when you talk about the exchange platform something like binance or pax4 it provides something like peer-to-peer -peer where you can actually withdraw your money maybe to mpesa to local currency in a local currency and all that but when it comes to wallet like trust wallet it does not have all those it's something only you can just use to store your crypto over here we'll just be seeing that as we proceed and maybe you just be understanding this so this is just an application you just open a trust wallet or maybe we have different uh, different like meta tax okay meta mask like coinbase and then you can send your crypto there you store them okay you can maybe buy crypto worthy uh a certain amount of money so is upon you now to protect that key and to make sure that you are not act on that but it's very important if the moment you just keep open your account safely and keep that key then you can keep your crypto right over there so when it comes to these webs uh crypto exchange platform like binance then this is where actually you can maybe deposit and withdraw your crypto at the end of this we are just going to understand this more because actually i'll just be depositing money over here and i'm playing buying crypto uh live right over here so that you can see how easy these things are okay now let's talk uh, let's continue with this so we have web uh these ones you can actually use even this box for that means this is the dandy party you the dandy party actually can just be used right over here so the moment we go to the practical side that is the moment you are going to understand whatever i'm going to be speaking right over here the moment we just go to the practicals you just be understanding more about this so uh just keep watching on this now i'm going to uh that is i'm going to this is binance wallet this is something very simple you just open for example let's say this is crypto binance so opening an account with uh that is crypto exchange platform is actually and definitely free so the moment actually you just know that so i'm not promoting binance i'm just showing you an example of how you can actually trend crypto right over here so it's simple and very simple crypto some sometimes people uh, don't want to include a lot of terms that are just going to confuse you over here because actually crypto has a lot of things okay so what you do over here let's say you just opened your account over here this is binance crypto exchange platform okay this is an exchange platform uh like binance okay over here so the next thing i'm going to do over here is actually i'm going to show you the process of trading how you can buy crypto and i'm going actually to be using my mpesa right over here i'm going to use the mpesa to train crypto i buy crypto and i sell crypto one of the things that people keep asking me is that why don't you actually buy crypto direct from mpesa you cannot do that because crypto is not uh when you actually we didn't define even the name of crypto because it's actually decentralized that means there's no center of the control you know something like when you have something like dollar we have the kenya shillings when the maybe the currency is just losing value then what will happen is that the bank what will happen is the, for example let's talk about the usd that is most known okay when actually the usd start losing value what will happen is that the federal reserve uh, president or they will just come with something we call monetary policy so they will actually try to make sure that this currency actually does not keep losing value so they just come up with monetary uh, monetary policy to make sure that this actually currency stays strong in the market okay so that is number one you have to know but when it comes to bitcoin when it comes to crypto currency there is no centralized there is no decentralized uh, authorities that are actually going to control this that means that means is something actually that is this to it's just put out there so everybody actually can just see it the result and all that so it is not centralized there is no center of the control although there is uh, something like the supply 
and the on demand for for example of the these big coins over here to avoid maybe oversupply and maybe the coin losing value and all that but actually there is no central uh authorities that i'm going to control over this it's not the same as the currencies okay now let's continue with this so let's say for example you just open a binance account a crypto exchange platform right over here which is very simple to do things but remember actually if you are using fx pesa and all this platform you can actually trend crypto uh through CF uh, cfts you can train crypto right over there but the way you train crypto on uh, brokers is different from how you train crypto on crypto exchange platform okay from how you trend this so i have sent number one to open the crypto exchange platform is absolutely free so the next thing i'll just be doing for example this is the binance account as you can see right over here you can see we have different things so uh the next things maybe you can just be checking you can go through out my videos and you'll be checking how binance work if you want to maybe to concentrate on the binance but i will just recommend you uh the best broker that you can just use in the description below to trend crypto now what you just do over here learn how all these things works on the binance so that you cannot confuse but this is the simplest way to buy crypto right over here so i'm going to be doing it over here and buy so that you can just understand now the first thing i'll just be doing over here is actually go to the trend okay and i'm going to buy through peer-to-peer -peer, or you can just buy through bank you know you can buy by uh that is scanned you can just use your card to buy the crypto right over here but this is simple for the people who have been trending this this is very simple i'm just doing this so that people can just understand uh for the beginners maybe for the people who are just going to be um, beginners right over here but we just go up to maybe where you and just want to understand the thing that we are going actually to the main point but give me sometimes maybe for the beginners they can just understand this so we cannot kick anybody out of this so as you can see i'm on a peer-to-peer -peer trending so this means that you have to transact between one person and another you cannot and just buy from um, bank you cannot just buy from the bank the reason being if you just want to deposit or buy crypto or using your bank account all you can just do is actually buy something like euro or usd and then you can just convert them you can use them now after depositing them to maybe binance then you can just use them to deposit uh to convert them to crypto something very simple and uh very easy so this is the next things i'm going to do i have gone to p2p right over here so i click buy i click i want to buy usdt usdt one of the cryptos right over here and then i just click the amount i want to buy over here actually i just want to buy uh 10 usd 10 usdt that's equivalent to how much one usdt is actually going around 135 kenya shillings so usdt we have a lot of things that you maybe have to be learning here on the crypto so i'm just be learn i'm um, be saying them as we just proceed so the reason actually so many people prefer to uh hold usdt in all these crypto exchanges because actually it's that stable coin usdt is actually a stable coin what stable coin means is actually the coin that is not very volatile is the coin actually that you can just be uh depend on is for example now is going at 135 so if you can maybe buy today maybe the value is just maybe going to change with a small amount of money today is at 135 kenya shillings so it means maybe uh for sometimes maybe or either tomorrow or sunday it can just change with uh maybe a very small digit right there so that's why it's just preferred uh because it is a stable coin it's just a stable coin it is stable something that is stable is something that actually does not move so fast so i'm going to be buying from one of these guys over here so i'm not going to explain them so much on how p2p trending works so we are just going to now do an overview of this so it's very simple you select the person who has high complexion rate right over here and person who has done a lot of trend so and you actually put your money so i'm putting something like 1400 over here they are equivalent to almost 
almost 10 uh, USDT that is I want here so okay so I'm just going to research over here or maybe the first guy actually was okay like this one so I'm going to find someone who actually accept something like Pimbil uh the second guy right over here is good so maybe you are not going to meet this person so i want to, to receive something like 10 so what i'm going to do over here just let me just buy 1400 this is just an example so i will receive 10.33 remember there is actually something i talked about the uh p2p how you can make money selling like these people these are called the merchant I was a merchant one day i was selling and buy crypto selling to people so this person is going to sell to me he is a merchant so he is seller um the buyer okay so remember you can also i'm going to pay to this person as i speak so this is how you just do it okay so okay some people are asking how secure is this how secure is this this is very simple i'll just show you how secure it is so you can see it is actually counting right there so i'm going to pay this person this amount of money that is 1400 so that they can at least uh 10 point 10 point 10.33 crypto so i'm going this is which bank payment i'm going to go to with pin bill yeah so i'm going to click this after payment then i'll click transfer to notify him yeah so i'm going to pay through that pain bill okay so he, he is a merchant i'm not the buyer he is the seller so this is how you place those things it's very simple uh, okay you can just go through that to know how you get money through PFPT trending so i'm going to put that account number right there Okay, so I'm going to put amount I placed for 1,200. This is very simple. Remember, you cannot buy like the way I'm buying and sell and make profit. It cannot happen. Some people are asking me that and you're going to make loss. The only person who will make money is this person. Because maybe for every USDT he buys or sells, he is making at least something. He is making either small amount of money and that difference is what will help him to make money at the end of the day so i've shown let me see after confirmation then i will show you what to do so you have had the message the money has gone already so yeah so what i do here is i click transfer to notify I have made the payment confirm payment so the moment you just do that remember you cannot reverse uh, money they are already the binance has taken money from yes the binance has taken 10.33 usdt from him he cannot do anything with that 10.33 and i don't have that 10.33 so what will happen over here is that he either approves the money or if he fails Note this, if he fails to send me money, if he, sell, if he fails to release those USDT that I have bought to him, then definitely I have the proof of M-Pesa here that I've sent. What I will just do over here is to come to the place called appeal. You can see appeal here, transaction. If this time ends, like nine minutes ends without him releasing, then I'll click appeal. But you can see it actually released. Yes, actually released. That's why you see that time is no longer counting. So you can leave uh, the comment first transaction. That is just a review. You can just give him a positive review. So he has released so fast. So I have received how much the order has been completed right over here. So I have my crypto now on my funding wallet. Okay so i'm not going to explain how binance works on all this because the crypto exchange platform are different sorry and you can see this transaction actually been completed right over here this is 1400 completed okay 
we are done so we have bought how much 10.33 crypto so what i'm going to do over here is go to the wallet and then go to the overview okay so i go to the wallet and go to overview so what i'm going to do right over here is now i'm going to trade i'm going to trade but remember the first thing that we have done already in the p2p we have already done what trending remember you can become a p2p trender okay remember you can become a p2p what trender and then you can just actually be making money out of that you know it's just the guy have bought uh that is usdt from he actually makes money from that okay it's just like an mpesa you know it's like how you put mpesa and then some people will be coming and buy and sell buy uh no 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 that is deposit and with the draw deposit and withdraw is the same thing so what i've done is that i have actually in deposited and he has given me money okay is i have withdrawn so he has given me crypto i have given him kenya shillings that is like withdraw you may meet the same person selling or buying and i can go after all this i've done my things then i can just go and sell him the same crypto that happens it's just very simple you know I ought to be looking at this so that is very simple uh the next thing i'm going to do over here because my crypto are actually on the funding wallet so the next thing i'll just do over here is to click transfer i hope you can see this if you cannot see my screen well make sure that you click that setting on your phone or laptop down one there and then you go to the high sol resolution just make sure that you're watching me on high resolution okay so that you can check this well so you can see i'm going to transfer this i am said i'm not going to show you on binance work this is the thing that you have to standing on your own so i bought usdt so i'm going to type here usdt and i'm going to alternate this okay so i'm going to transfer from the funding wallet so i click these two arrows so that the funding wallet can go up the reason i'm doing this is because the funding wallet when the money is in the funding wallet remember you can only do what peer-to-peer -peer trending so all the peer-to-peer -peer trending all p2 trenders they transfer their money to the funding wallet because they are peer-to-peer -peer trenders. And the moment I will just decide to sell this crypto, I will transfer again to the peer-to-peer -peer trending so that they can receive my money to the M-Pesa or account. That person will send me to account. Remember, this is how I've so shown you how actually the crypto exchange platform helps you in a very secure way to transfer your money. Uh, to one another p2p that means from person to person okay it's very simple okay so we you we have transferred my money from p2p um, because i'm not going to trend on p2p now i want to trend crypto like i want to buy let's buy something like bitcoin let's some buy something like bitcoin the currency that so many people have if you have any question look and leave it in the comment section i will just be replying on that now I've transferred to where? To Fiat and Spot. Now, after transferring to the Fiat and Spot, remember you can train. So, for every wallet you, let me show you this. We have different wallets right over here. Overview is actually where you check all your currency, all the money that is in all your wallet. Fiat and Spot, this is where you will just be trending on the spot. Manji, you will just be streaming on the spot, okay? Margin, you you will transfer to margin. Remember, you just be uh doing what you just be uh, trending on the margin. If you transfer to features, the same and all that. Remember, even there is investment in Bitcoin. You can uh in crypto in the in the Binance. You can just transfer your money to earn so that you can just invest. That is something for another day. Today we are talking about how to trend. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go to my favorite one that I just like that so that you can just understand this in a very simple way so i'm going to, to so first of all you have to transfer to the uh fiat and the spot before transferring if your money is anywhere you have to pass through fiat and spot okay that you cannot transfer to anyone so if your money is anywhere you transfer first to the fiat and the spot so that is from binance i don't know about other brokers so what i'm going to do right over here is i click transfer again and then i'll be transferring to where usd features 
okay so and then you can see i have 12 usdt okay the minimum you can just use to trade is actually 10 usdt so i have transferred and what i'm going to do over here is now i show you how to trend it's very easy i'll show I'm, i'll be withdrawing to see to also show you how you can just do this remember i'm going to trend bitcoin okay so what i'm do over here i'm going to go to the derivatives make sure at least you can go through how binance works you know it's something very simple if you can just actually go how binance works and how all these things works then it's going to take us actually five hours but i'm just going to simplify this so that at least you can just understand overview something like how binance works is because other if you just maybe design to use other crypto wallet it's just going to be different that's why i'm not interested in explaining how binance work in this case so i'm going to click derivatives this is where you can train the features so i'm going to click usd features right here yeah this is big so the bitcoin has actually been going up something that is very interesting the bitcoin was down so the other thing i have explained how to use all this thing that is usd features there is different between spot and usd features but i'm just going here so that you can just understand how to buy how you can become profitable and how you can actually withdraw your money here in a very simple way you know let proceed here okay so the moment you just come over here so this is the usd features something has happened okay we are here so this is the usd features yeah so this is the features we have yeah so this is the features so remember i transferred my money right over here and this is what you can see right here so available balance is 12 point one two usdt so i'm going to be buying bitcoin so the first thing that you have to be knowing over here that is very important okay though i'm not going to explain how binance work but this is very important remember to always select isolated you see something like here isolated and cross okay so let me zoom this so that you can see we have something like isolated isolated means that you're going to use the money you have transferred on the usd features that is the only amount of money that you are going to use that is there when you select when you see this uh, let me look at this we have isolated and cross cross all position and the, the same margin asset share the same okay when you cl click uh cross and maybe the market goes against you it is going to use maybe all the money that is all around those wallet and all that but when you click something that is isolated it's going to be using only the capital that you transferred to the usd features in this case it is only 12 of usdt that are actually transferred right here let me show you how you just buy so you can the same thing as forex you can trade on limit you can trade on the market that means on limit you can put when you put limit over here you can decide whether you are going to go long or short long means you're going to buy or you can see the same thing short means that you're going to short right over here okay in this case you can just do your analysis to know where you're just just going to ending remember the binance has a trending view like this so i'm going to click trending view and then you can actually even expand this so that you can just do your analysis remember you have to do at least your analysis very well before you just enter into the trend you cannot just enter into trending just like that at least you have to do something like the technical analysis you can just do some fundamental analysis right over here before you buy remember from where we have come from from explaining what is crypto and the difference between it and forex okay so you have a lot of things to run because i said maybe i can start explaining things from the start like this is actually uh the same this is uh the trending view itself so you have to be knowing how this instrument works so this is a very simple because this instrument will just be helping you the ones you see on the left side eh? they will just be helping you actually to do what we call technical analysis like drawing the trend lines you see something like this you can see something like so you just click this line here you go to trend lines and then you place it here yeah something like that and then 
let me just click this so you click that and then you can draw line like that and then you do just be helping you to know where you are going to be entering at so you have to be knowing how trending view works so you have actually to be doing this because i'm giving you like uh everything about the crypto and i'm saying i'll just do that in maybe 30 to one hour so it's very important okay we have only maybe it is around 40 minutes and you can see we have a lot of things to do so that means if i can start explaining on binance work it's going to take us days so those are the things that you have to be learning actually even by yourself and they are going to be helping you so much so you can see from where come only answer to watch all this or maybe you can go back you can start from there so that you can just be understanding things for your own so that you cannot be confused anytime maybe you are trending this it's going to be sweet right over here so after doing your analysis over here and maybe you have seen maybe the bitcoin is going to go down so all you are just going to do now is maybe going uh short okay that short means you're going to sell over here so because the bitcoin is already high it is already 24402 so uh this is how this time frame i just want to check on the time frame i just want to go to one hour yeah just want to go to one hour and i'm going to do this although i'm going to maybe uh, just testing and then they will draw the money so so i'm going to short the bitcoin is the price i'm going to buy not limit i'm going to buy at the market price because i don't want to you know when you say limit you just want to say when the bitcoin actually reaches 28 maybe 28,900 USDT I want to sell. When it reaches that point, I want to buy. This is just an of you what you expect over here. You can see Bitcoin is actually very volatile. Kamu ukwana pesa mzuri kapsa. Kamu ukwana pesa. For those you have good money. For those you have good money. It is important actually even if you can buy a full Bitcoin. You can decide to buy a full Bitcoin. You can do an analysis and decide to buy a full Bitcoin. If you buy one full Bitcoin, actually there is no day the Bitcoin will go zero. For example, now if you buy Bitcoin now, the Bitcoin, one Bitcoin is actually going to 28,390 USDT. That's a price of around uh, 3.2, 3. Come on, 3. 0.5 million if you just maybe have 3.2 million you can just buy one bitcoin and you can see how volatile it is that means look at now the bitcoin is going at 28378 dollars in the next two seconds it's going at it will be going at maybe 29 or 28600 that means you can make crazy amount of money within the shortest shortest the shortest time as possible you can see how volatile it is okay than any the currency this is very big crypto right over here so i'm going to buy on the market price on that so i'm going to click market and i'm going to adjust this i want to buy um bitcoin worth the, my hundred percent of my money remember the minimum you can use over here is 10 usdt okay so i have placed how much sorry that is i have placed 100 percent i have placed 100 percent so it means i'm going to be buying bitcoin worthy 100 percent of my money that is us how many 12 usdt i hope you are following this 12 how much 12 usdt right here okay 12 usdt so i have clicked 100 so because i have seen the bitcoin maybe in going down so what i'm going to do over here you can pl play something we call take profit and stop loss okay first of all we are here we selected let's start over here up here there's something i forgot to tell you we have our saluted so we selected isolated the most important thing here is what we call leverage leverage is actually means that you're going to multiply your capital for example you end maybe hundred thousand for example let's say you deposited and you want to buy one bitcoin okay here you'll be selecting a leverage of one if you maybe depositing 28,350 like it is going now uh, or maybe 28,500 uh, USDT 
and then you select a leverage of one that means you want to buy one bitcoin because you just deposited money that is equivalent to buy one bitcoin if you select two then you want to buy two times of that of your money so i want to buy the bitcoin worthy of 12.12 usdt in this case that is 12 usdt but if i select two leverage if i select two times that means i want to buy bitcoin worthy of 24 usdt okay and remember the higher you select the more you can make money and the more you can just lose right here for example look at this because the leverage over here is by select 100 that means 100 times 12 of that is 1200 usdt that means i'm trending with 1200 usdt i've been buying just like that the more you can make money the more you can just lose right over here so if the market moves against me just like that it moves me like a person who has bought 1200 i'll just be explaining that further but maybe you can just literally understand this leverage is just like borrowed money that you can use over here you just want to borrow certain amount of multiplication so that maybe you can increase your capital okay and the more you can make money the more you can lose and actually because my money is very small and remember you will pay for this money so i'm going to select something i don't like using more than two to three so i'm subtracting this so i'm going to go to three and then i confirm and then remember i have to put not of mass but it's good to put take profit and stop loss in case the market actually just goes against you so in this scenario because i'm going to sell i'm going to put my take profit at twenty-eight thousand, okay and i put my stop loss at twenty-nine thousand, okay so remember you can actually know even how much you are going to be making right over here because you can even calculate there's a calculator here you can put all your values the calculator that is on the right side you can put all your value maybe you are going to short uh, you can put the leverage you are going the entry point and you may get here and then you can put where you are going to assist and the quantity of the bitcoin you have bought and then you calculate and it will just give you how much you will be, be making in case it happens the way you have placed it so you just go to the calculator you calculate you put all your values right over there and then it will just give you an equivalent uh the value of the profit that you just be making right over there so remember i have placed this stop loss i have placed as 29 and take profit i have placed this one so it's just simple just like that and i will show you something very important uh, let me just short now uh btc should be more than okay i have not placed this so i place 100 okay so i go short remember i used the market price so the order has just been submitted because i used the market price so you can see now this is where you see your pro so you can see actually it's not moving so fast the reason is because in corner pesa kido kidogo unless the market moves uh it becomes very volatile remember you can okay you can just leave it like that and it will just go for many days until maybe you become profitable something that is very interesting so you can see i have used 9.44 usdt as isolated you can be checking everything that you have used over here uh liquidity is at that seven point uh 627 liquidity means that if the market kama sikuwa ni make out take uh, stop loss kwa sababu ni make out stop loss as 29 okay in case you didn't use a stop loss what will happen over here the moment it actually it reaches at that 7.6297 all the money will just be gone the, the negative it will just be negative okay you can see now the price is at 28.392 Okay. this is my entry i entered at this one at buy 
28 340 and now the market is that one that means and it was a sell i it's just let's talk about prediction i predicted the market will just go down but it's going up right now at this point that means i'm in a negative form i used a leverage of 3x that means three times of my money but remember 12 dollars is actually very small but with that small amount of money you can see i'm not losing a lot because actually it is now at negative 0. 0.07 usdt okay so that is very small amount of money zero negative zero negative one negative, those around 10 bob and all that okay now remember this is what you can look also you this something that is here maybe if remember you can actually trend on your phone if you have a phone remember you can just do that i showed you how you can just do crypto on the phone uh on the phone what you can just do is uh and download the application after maybe you have registered to binance or any platform and if you're using the binance then you can just go to the you click on your profile on the left side you click there and then you turn on something we call pro okay and the moment you turn that pro then that is the moment you can trade all those things oh whatever i'm doing here remember i can do it on my phone i can just do it on my phone right over here and actually i was also this is the application that you can just use on the binance Binance, this application, kama uko na kasimu kadogo akashikangi network vizuri, then you just have to know it's going to give you endek. Because this Binance application is so heavy. It's so heavy, okay? It's just so heavy, man. So this is how the application look like. Uh, okay, let me show you. So, I don't know. You can see down one here. If your platform is not looking down one like that kama iko na yako haiko hivyo ujuu uko na shida okay kama yako haina oh market range features wallet and all that remember you cannot deposit and you cannot withdraw so you have to be knowing that so sijui kama umeona but ni metages of it you have to be knowing about them so they are very simple okay now when i click this look at this when i click this this is how you can see the profit and loss that you'll be making when you click that and you put your profit take profit area let's say i want to assist at 27 as my take profit at 27 uh, no 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 that is the market is currently at 28 so i will be assisting let's say i put take profit at 27 i will make how much 1.34 dollars okay usdt okay if i put my stop loss and market keep going and maybe it goes as 29 stop loss then i'll be making a loss of 0 0.66 okay 0 0.66 usdt what if i put the stop loss at that thousand i'll be making negative 1.66 usdt okay what if market keep going and it goes back to twenty thousand? how much will i make i'll make 8.34 dollars but remember the more you increase the that is what the more you increase the leverage the more you'll be making more money right over there but remember don't use high leverage if you have it's good to put good amount of money and put uh so that you can use this more leverage over here okay for example if you buy bitcoin with one leverage or with one leverage that means you have bought bitcoin plane a plane let me just call it i like calling it you have bought a plain bitcoin without using anything that means you are going to you are not unless the bitcoin goes to zero something that cannot happen but anything can happen unless the bitcoin goes to zero that is when you can lose because your liquidity will be the liquid price will be zero that is when you can lose everything so it is going to use to have a good amount of money when you are trending crypto so that too because you can see by using the leverage in this my liquidity is at that seven okay because i was selling okay if i used a leverage of two the liquidity actually could have been increased in a quarter 39 uko if i could have used a leverage of one then actually in a quarter 60 uko very far very far but it's because my amount of money actually was very small but Remember, you can, or if I used uh, maybe a leverage of uh, that is one, 
it was it will be very difficult for me to lose that amount of money open orders over here you have to be understanding them on how they just work so you can see i have my open orders over here that means that is where you can see the price where you can sell and all that so i'm i'm actually on the loss remember i intend to you can wait you can be patient to wait you can do your analysis well and all that so remember maybe i don't want to wait and all that maybe i have made money or i made loss but i don't i want to assist from this market i have already made negative 1.5 usdt that's about 20 bob around 20 bob to 25 bob okay so loss but you can see it is rained okay but remember this was just a practice to show you something but remember i can do my analysis and i know the market was just going to end so you can actually close on the market over here so the moment you click market over here on the submit and you can see down one over here so that means i have closed this under okay so i have closed this under so what i will see here i will see my balance over here let me just refresh this so that you can see so you can close any on that the end time see lazima it menunua and then you just have to it you can buy and close your under anytime you want but remember the reason you put stop loss and take profit is so that maybe you are working on something you made your analysis at this time and maybe you want to go somewhere and wait uh maybe you are working so it, the moment it eat you are take profit then remember you will meet your profit there okay so uh i have so i've lost some usdt right over here so i have 11.95 so i'm going now to transfer this amount of money remember if you made a profit now you can just decide to withdraw the profit and leave the capital but in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to transfer this amount of money and just withdraw it uh, it's going to be very easy so there are two ways you can just do that there are two ways that you can just do that okay to transfer your money you can either click these arrows you see these two arrows here so you can be clicking these two arrows to transfer money remember we said first of all if you want to transfer the money to any wallet what you do you transfer it to spot wallet so you can transfer this click transfer and then go to this is fiat to usd features so i'm going to click this arrow from usd features to fiat then maximum then confirm okay remember after making profit and all that then that is the time you can just do this for those who are watching make sure to subscribe and like this video is very important it's very important okay now so i have made my first transfer so i have transferred to uh so you just do this so i have transferred to the fiat and the spot wallet so the next thing that i'm just going to do is to transfer i can do all my transfers here so i can just transfer from fiat to the funding wallet where i'm going to withdraw and i click maximum again so you click maximum uh, so that i have clicked maximum on there so the next thing i'm now going to do now is go to my remember i'm going now to trend now to p2p so that i sell yeah so i'm going to sell this so that i show you how it's just easy to buy and trade crypto it's the same as forex but crypto is different is different remember apart from use uh, analyzing on the technical side where i've analyzed to know that the market is maybe going up or down there are other things that you actually you can do okay there are other analysis that's when fundamental analysis involved where you can know the market about the fundamental news uh the news that affect the market that is the thing that actually you can even check not only uh the news not only this news about the technique not only technical analysis that you can lies on the bitcoin there are other factors that can affect the crypto world okay so you remember you can just do that and then do uh, this one is just going to be helping you to have come to the place where you are going to know where you are going to be selling okay let me check on this there's something it is 9 p.m and today we are expecting the uh that is us dollar to increase the interest rate let's see give me some times 
let me see what the decision is remember that the decision actually is going to be affecting the crypto also because crypto is going to be volatile so 9 p.m is here so let me check the calendar what has happened those are the news that you can be checking accesses today is on 22nd hmm. okay so federal reserve okay they have increased the interest is by 25 basic points that means it's going to make at least dollar to be somehow um attractive so that may move let's see what will happen to the bitcoin actually because if the dollar becomes attractive that means there's possibilities that bitcoin is actually going to drop is that the case let's see that but remember 25 basic points are not that much so they are not going to affect the market so much okay yeah so that is it so 28 for 80 it's not affecting the go the bitcoin so much no big effect okay so no big effect but i know there is some volatility in the forex market yeah so let's proceed with our class okay on the bitcoin side so i was withdrawing the money so it's simple i have transferred the funding wallet which is very easy uh, i was checking on that because i'm trained i'm a trend okay so okay so i'm transferring i've transferred my money to the funding wallet the next thing i'm going to trend and then i go to pay to pay okay i'm going to pay to pay i don't want you to be confused on this so the only process that you have to follow is the what i've done and it's just going to sell you to help you okay so you can see there's something we have sell so this time i'm selling i'm not buying i want to sell crypto okay i want to sell crypto i'll be opening my phone over here it's my phone is right here so maybe the moment i receive money on my impressor you hear the voice you hear the note yeah so i'm going to click sell um and uh, remember i have usdt right there so i click sell the first uh no 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 so you have to select let me get back okay let me cancel this because you have to select first of all the method that you are going to receive money from so i it is in m pesa m pesa i have selected m pesa there and then you select your range so i'm going to sell between uh that is something like one thousand something like one thousand so it just be filtered this is to filter okay so oh off, off, off. so i'm going to be selling to this so you can see in between the buying and selling price actually are different that's why you cannot make money by selling and buy on the p2p unless you are p2p merchant and that's why these people make money in this difference if you can become a p2p merchant then you're going to make money because you can see buying is 135 and selling actually when you just buying from you actually this is what making the difference here you can see if you want to buy you buy at 135 and when you want to sell you sell at 133 okay but for them it is different for them it is different they are selling they are uh, when you buy to them over here they are selling at 135 and when you come to sell over here because it is you who is selling that f means for them they are buying so they are buying at 133 and they are selling at 135 do you understand that for you it is buy and sell but for them it is different because i'm selling now to them so that means they are buying so they are buying at 133.76 and they are selling at 135.3 so the reason for this the reason there is that big difference now is because of transaction through that was introduced when you are sending money to the banks when you are sending money to pay bills and all that so i'm going to select sell uh, here and i'm going to select all so i'm going to receive 1598 i don't want to receive all this so i just want to receive 1500 okay maybe i receive 1590 okay so i'll be changed to that remember you can put any money from 1900 
uh, is levels are there so i'm clicking sell you send my money to my number here okay so don't call me with that number before i receive the message So I'm going to be waiting to receive the money over here. I'm going to show you. So let me transaction to this. In case I receive the money, I'm going to show you here okay i have sound i'm just waiting for him to confirm and then i'll just show you the process here what you have to do next remember that is how you deposit that's how you train and that's how you withdraw so come on jello aki to any name i explain because there are a lot of things that you have to be understanding in between like that the assignment that i've just given you okay is you have to understand how if you want to become a p2p trader like this make sure that you know how to become a p2p merchant then you can learn and make money like a p2p merchant and you just be like an mpesa agent your work is to send and receive money from the people who want to trend crypto the other thing is you have to understand either the broker that you'll be using how it works the next thing is to learn how to analyze the market before you trend you have actually to understand that before you trend you analyze the market either in a fundamental way and technical analysis way remember you have to be knowing that the next thing that you just be doing over here is to understand different types of things that happen there like uh, um we have like market executions we have all those things that you have to be knowing there uh, if you are just trending if you concentrate on that then maybe sometimes you fall in love with the one or the pairs either you'll be trading bitcoin stroke uh usdt that is pair you just be falling in love with one of them and then you can just be trending those ones so the moment you just do that then absolutely will just be free for example you can um <clears throat> okay there are some people who actually who just designed they are going actually to be crypto owners crypto owners are the people who actually will buy crypto the moment they buy crypto they are going to you have handed the message okay so i've received the money so he has sent me the money let me just show you here so i don't know whether you can see Oof, these things are disturbing. Just want you to see this message of Mpesa. Yeah, that is it. So he has sent money. So he has sent 1590. So I'll be showing you how to release money, how to release crypto to go to him. So he only signed at a at a click payment sent and then I'll release on my side. I'll show you how to do that. That is the last thing that you just be doing. Okay, now I was talking about this. Make sure that you just know all that. So there's something we call crypto owners. Crypto owners are the people who actually will just be owning crypto. They can buy Bitcoin, they can buy all these coins and all there, and then they can just decide to own them for the longest time. Mutu anayizanunua, for example, Bitcoin, amua tuwa anayinvestia tuka uzea wake. Unona? Like for me, uh, maybe uh, this where I have stolen my Bitcoin, I just want my Bitcoin to be there because I trust in Bitcoin maybe in two to three years from now. The Bitcoin is going to maybe to be value one hundred dollars. So it means that if I put my money there, it's just like an investment. Nice out, but my money will just actually grow. Even Bitcoin actually start there. So they are hunters. They are long time investors. Ata kuna what by the way say wa meka pesa yao ya retirement kwa Bitcoin. Muto wa meka uko yes plus. I don't want to talk so I because of so many people who maybe was sitting out to sign there. So there are some people who actually have invested in their uh, retirement money to the uh, Bitcoin or any of that. And don't want to come about Bitcoin only. There are some people who have 
place their investment money that is retirement money on the bitcoin ethereum uh, litcoin and all those things over there because they may be trusting that those coins are going to increase in value in some of the days okay they are going to they are trusting this value is actually going to increase in some of the days and that is it so the moment actually you just do that then maybe kuna wakati itafika there are some times you just come and then you see maybe you bought a bitcoin worthy of uh 10000 maybe after 2 years you can come and see maybe your 10000 has just converted ikakuwa 20 thousand kenya shillings remember there was time bitcoin actually was just going at uh 100 dollars okay 100 dollars okay and now the bitcoin is going at 28 to 30 now it's going to 30 thousand dollars so what about the people who maybe bought bought coin maybe five to ten years ago when bitcoin actually was valueless and it is no value and just like this that's why maybe you can have a lot long time mind of saying maybe bitcoin is only twenty eight thousand now what about five years to come now you can just see pesa in your university you know to a cash you know a pesa up or at a one hundred thousand you know but you make sure that you the security is good maybe for the platform that you are just using you can just lock them there and maybe after 10 to 5 years then you are 100,000 you can just be withdrawing it maybe a uh, uh, maybe at a 1 million no no even 1 million so uh you can see this person here i'm going this is the last step i'm doing here so you can see what you have to do the last step that you just have to do here is actually click payment received so that means you confirm that he has sent you money so i have received money and all that so i click count get count of course okay so the count have been sent from binance so i'm going to uh put this count here okay so i have confirmed and you can see <clears throat> honda as marked as spent so the crypto now has been released to him so what if and does does not confirm or in the sinner crypto that is something that you have to understand i don't have crypto on my wallet so the binance after me click sell the binance dna chukwa those cryptos so if i don't click confirm if i don't click payment received this crypto to be sent to him so he will provide an evidence to the binance and then the crypto will just be abducted it's just taken by force they will just be taking as long as there is payment proof and all that so you have seen i deposited money i turned crypto i bought bitcoin using the usdt uh yeah so because i not i not done a good analysis i made a loss of 20 bob and remember you can make profit as well so my money was very small my money actually was very small and um i didn't do analysis very well but you can just do analysis very well and you can make money on the bitcoin so there are a lot of scams when it involves in bitcoin there are a lot of scams when it involves in crypto don't be involved in that avoid these things people are telling you bring money i invest uh for you over here and all that learn your whole knowledge this or me or maybe you can pay someone not it's not supposed to be me only just pay someone to teach you invest your knowledge in knowledge first learn and the moment you just learn there's nobody who will steal from you okay because you understand these rules you understand that you don't make money always because all these promises and scheme um, bring this amount of money will give you 50 percent at the end of the day you always know that these are scammers so that is something that you have to be knowing of that so invest in knowledge it is very important uh for now okay so uh if you have watched this video maybe from the start up to where we are now maybe you have understood something about the bitcoin how it works so the rest of the things that i send earlier is that just go through those classes uh the things that i've just shown you the assignment and then you just be understanding more better you just be understanding more better but that is the whole process 
of trending uh, crypto okay so with that said if you like this video if you watch this video from the start make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you like this video and uh i will see you next time uh have a good night blessed time bye bye my details actually and down over there you can just reach me out for more talks i'm always i'm available you can just talk anytime i'm just available see you next time